That is not going to affect much of the state of Nebraska. Now heading to Thursday night into Friday, scattered showers, maybe some rumbles of thunder, some stronger storms trying to move out of the panhandle once again by uh, late Thursday night into Friday morning. Because of that, Thursday afternoon and evening, a level one out of uh, five marginal risk. This is for Thursday afternoon and into the evening. Then Friday afternoon, it expands even further. In fact, the western half of the state, a slight risk, a level two out of five for severe weather from about North Platte West into the Panhandle. The uh, marginal risk does expand into the Tri-Cities. Grand Island is under that. Eastern Nebraska, we need the rain. And I think by late Friday night into Saturday, uh, maybe even Saturday afternoon, the eastern co uh, quarter of the state has uh, possibly a, sl a slight to maybe even higher risk for severe weather. This is something we're going to watch very closely uh, Saturday uh, morning and Saturday afternoon. Could be a, a one-two punch for those storms. So we'll keep an eye on that for you. Tonight, temperatures in the middle, lower, middle, and upper 60s, uh, 67, mostly cloudy. I think the storm chance will stay far, far to the west, southeast wind, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, trying for 90 once again. If we don't get there, it'll be the upper 80s, middle and upper 80s for many of us, partly cloudy. Storms west, and then the seven-day forecast, 90s all the way through, but barely. So any kind of cloud cover or any kind of rain at the wrong time, and we wouldn't quite get to that 90 degree mark, but we'll be close each and every day. The chance for storms uh, Friday night into Saturday is it as we head through the rest of June. In fact, uh, July 1st comes next Saturday. So we're already uh, hop, skip, and a jump away from the, the first day of July, if you could believe that. It is hard to believe. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Rusty. A negative day on Wall Street today. The Dow falling 100.